advertisement. We will touch upon every aspect of digital marketing including the website creation, how you can create your website without knowing any programming or having any coding skill, how you can run a business online, how you can promote your offline business, how you can market your business on your own capacity, how you can understand and interpret the work different digital marketing or search engine optimization companies are doing for your company. How you can understand where your company stands, how you can understand where your business stands in comparison to the presence or business of your nearest competitor. How do you know who is your biggest competitor? What are the techniques and strategies you should know and implement in your business to go ahead of them? These are different things we will study and understand in our coming lectures on different aspects of digital marketing. Digital marketing is nothing but a part or a wing of marketing. Marketing as a huge subject helps many businesses and also generates a huge amount of employment. Due to the growth of digitization, digital devices, internet and mobile or PC, digital aspect of marketing has come up. You only learn the digital devices, you only learn the digital equipments, you only learn the digital footprints of marketing. The basic differentiator with the digital marketing and marketing is the analysis, is a predictive part. Here in marketing, when you invest any amount of money on any subject or any marketing instrument, you don't have a way to understand or analyze each and every move of that. But in digital marketing, you can analyze even a single click far more easily than the normal marketing process helps. Digital marketing builds the branding far more easily than the normal marketing would have done for you. Digital marketing also helps you to compete bigger companies. Digital marketing builds the branding far more easily than the normal marketing would have done for you. Here you don't need that many manpower to run all your marketing campaigns, reach out to the people and execute a sale. Digital marketing processes can be automated using our latest techniques and latest marketing instruments in digital marketing, we can automate a marketing process, bring sale and generate far better revenue for a company. While working as a digital marketer for last one decade, I have seen many companies come and go. I have seen smaller companies become bigger companies and my experience while working with small ventures have yielded great result for them. I have seen companies who repair only air conditioners have spent more than 2 lakh rupees in their AdWords account. Other than the amount of money they spend with all other search or social medium. With the growth of social media, many new businesses have come up. You can see there are app based businesses these days which only run inside Facebook. There are app based businesses also which run inside only Google Play Store or Android or iPhone. Many companies, many gaming companies have come up who offer you options to buy their digital currency inside their game. These are the new changes that we can see in digital marketing. We can also understand the change or shift of the industry towards digitization due to its effectiveness including the reason it can build a better brand. It can provide you a process where people cannot cheat you. As an owner of a company, whether you are a millionaire or a startup company, you have all instruments open to you for a use. Whether in marketing, you don't have all the instruments open for you. Whether you are a small company, maybe if you are a big company, you can use that. But for a small company, you cannot do it. But in digital marketing, certainly you can do it. Leaving alone few small things, you can almost use 70 to 80% things that are available in digital marketing. And that helps 
businesses grow that helps businesses stand out that helps bring good revenue and generate job or more bigger industrial effect of digital marketing as the digitization is growing we can see digital marketing jobs are also increasingly in demand companies are looking for people who are capable of building strategies to win over their competitors and get more orders or clients as the major aim of any business so summarizing the whole digital marketing that we've been talking right now i can tell you it's a umbrella term under which search engine optimization social media marketing pay per click advertisement affiliate marketing all these things come including the content marketing as content is the most richest component to take you to your competitor we will learn from a million times viewed quora writer how you can take your business to millions of people with very least effort starting with the digital marketing we always think of different digital platforms but we tend to forget one basic thing is marketing even before digitization happened marketing was there and marketing is still today with us every product that we use everything that we use every thing that we even think even the digital marketing is also having a term marketing digital marketing is nothing more than the digital part of marketing as we grow with the digital age marketing principles stay same till today marketing is all about changing the beliefs in the mind of customers said by philip kotler long back he introduced us to a way of marketing that is still carrying forward in the age of digitization although the effect of digitization led to huge change in marketing and business across the world leading to closing of many companies and evolving of many companies the digitization has brought to us a new era where marketing is being done in a new way to communicate the product to create more value to deliver value to the customer in a different way the dynamic change in marketing that happened with the digital marketing is being seen starting from the person who sell product at your doorstep and a company who sell product in your facebook account marketing in both the cases where a company is selling a product in your facebook account by tracking your digital behavior knocking your digital door is quite like the same thing a person knocking your door in your home or your office it just a differentiation of the medium of selling a product or taking a product to a customer delivering value in both the cases stays same we cannot change the delivery of value we can only change the delivery of platform marketing of digital way is the same way it only changes the platform it only changes the medium of communication between a business and a buyer today's world brings us new type of products services and also buyers we have never seen in the last 100 years of business or commerce even in life last 18 years we have seen many bigger companies stop working we have seen many new companies come up and provide services to big giant organizations they are delivering value take the case of facebook or google they both came from small ventures but they are now the one of the biggest companies of the world delivering value taking product to a customer constantly working for businesses to provide them the desired result along with these platforms we can see people like who are bringing more knowledge for society business and students to learn and connect the products connect the businesses with their end customer in a more better way 
according to the american marketing association marketing is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large even digitization also brings the same value set in digital marketing we can see what american marketing association told us long before the digitization happened the set of institutions is like google facebook and other mediums through which we take the businesses to the customers and processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings like adwords programmatic and many other advertising platform through which we take a product to the customer in a more delicate way it definitely delivers value to customers clients partners and society at large although we have seen the data breach in facebook although we have seen hacking incidences of many bigger websites although we have seen devaluation of bigger companies like yahoo we have seen the world change forever with the digital growth of marketing i would say it's the next generation of marketing that is digital marketing come let's learn let's see this amazing thing let's feel and let's do something for the businesses let's do something for us let's take the products to the customers in such a way that customers cannot deny let's build strategies for businesses let's strategize the sales operations in such a way using digital marketing tools that they cannot fail at least they can provide the positive return leaving businesses happy and the work people who are working out with them happy let's learn and apply the things throughout the course if you have any problems throughout the course while learning while understanding things do get back to me i will always be with you bringing updated course materials and answering your questions thank you very much it's a pleasure to teach at udemy and it's a pleasure to teach the world in such a low cost thank you hello today's class is on buyer's persona what is buyer's persona buyer's persona helps you in deciding what type of content what type of marketing what type of paid campaigns you will create to attract your buyers for your product or service it helps you to understand what your buyers need what is the pain point and what is their goal and what they are looking for buyers persona helps a company identify the need of a customer find the pain point of a customer and understand what is the goal of a customer what a customer is looking for and how they are trying to solve their pain the pain point doesn't mean like any physical pain it's a requirement what they are looking for if you know in the way they need while segmenting buyers persona we have gone through different ways where buyers actually find some pain now you can start dividing the buyers persona in few segments one is demographic that you can segment by men female people who have a family people who are married in this way you can segment your buyers in the basis of different needs they might have now the next point would be their job or the seniority level in the job or the seniority level you can find different type of pain points different type of personalization a person who is doing a job he might be having problem attending their family 
he might be having problem working on excel he might be having problem in connecting to customers where crm companies can help connect them to their customers keep track of the customers with a easy record to reach out to them in a periodic way setting up reminders now the next point can be what is a day in buyer's life the person who is working the person who is not working everyone have a daily schedule suppose a person who is working he has segmented his time in different ways like the time is spent before going to office while going to office or inside office also he must be having certain kind of requirement a person who is working he always have some requirement for his child or his family so then a lot of requirement can come and you can serve them with your products or services now the pain point the pain point for any customer for any buyer if you address the pain point it is easy to solve their problem and it is easy for you to sell your products as well like for a life insurance suppose a person who is of a 40 years age and he hasn't done the insurance till now or don't have any kind of medical insurance it's a good opportunity for an insurance company to approach that person and convince the person about the risks he might be having understanding his pain points as he might be growing older he might be having diseases he might have to visit doctor regularly so convincing him in these points where he is facing problems to buy your product uh, insurance product is very easy so if you build a bias persona by the age or by gender like for the age category an insurance company can easily sell them different type of plans for gender like male or female if the male is the earning member he can define the role of the insurance amount or the coverage of the family so there you can convince him for a bigger policy buyer's persona can also help tourism companies now how that can happen suppose you are a tourism company owner you are a tour service provider and a person who needs or who is looking for some kind of tour plans you want data of those people only if you have collected your buyer data properly you have segmented your buyer data correctly on the basis of tour requirement and financing capability you can target all those buyers in a proper way few people might like to visit hill stations few might like to visit jungles few might like to go for uh, seashores so accordingly if you have built a proper questionnaire what is their preferences while collecting the buyer data while collecting the buyer's preferential data you can easily identify people according to your tour plans and send them mailers or reach out to them by remarketing campaigns so these are the different ways you can use these are the different uh, pain points you can target these are the different goals you can target these are the different segment of buyer you can look for providing some service based on their pain points so this is all about the buyer persona which actually helps a company to solve their long term business problems every company must focus in building a good genuine and reliable buyer's persona because that is the only source that might drive the profitability for the business and also help you get better sales every day whenever you 
look for sales thank you hello we have completed our introduction classes to marketing digital marketing and uh, first lesson of bias persona this class is on traffic the most important aspect of our entire course you all must be targeting to gain get more traffic to your website apps uh, and your business get more you know profit after doing this course so the whole objective of our course is to get more traffic to your online venture and more profit from the traffic considering traffic is one of the most important aspect of digital marketing training i have kept this lesson in the first module rather than keeping it in some other search optimization or any other module so how do you get traffic you get traffic by giving advertisement in search engines posting your content in social media posting content in other content based websites building your website with a lot of content and optimizing the website in many keywords probably these are the basic methods you are doing and to optimize your url in those keywords where a lot of traffic comes in google search you might be doing things like backlink building social media post uh, press releases and many other thing but do you know increase in click through rate can also better the search engine position that you have currently it can optimize your url google always tries to understand the user behavior if it see that some url are getting heavy amount of traffic in a search result but they are ranked very low the rank can change on the basis of click through rate itself many of the pages of my website that you will see are purely ranked due to high amount of click through rate there is no backlink building that has been done on them so to build attractiveness to build value to build a meaning for a person who is searching in web and giving a reason to the person to click on your url you need to build something that attracts why a user will click on your url there are a lot of other pages there are a lot of other websites providing the same content the differentiator comes when you write a title with a bait a bait is easy way to get your things done top 10 techniques the best methods the secret formula these are the bait which attract a person to click on your url you can think of many other things i'll provide you a list of words which are mostly looked upon or used by users to search things or click on pages which are using these terms these terms actually provide you the scope to get user attracted to on your content more than others suppose your url is ranked at ninth position in google search and you are trying your best to optimize the url to top 5 url but you are not able to do it one good reason could be the low click through rate if you use current update of google of 320 character in description properly and write something highly attention capturing users will definitely click on your url use those words that i am providing on the title and they will attract the users more to click on your url to build traffic you can give advertisement as i already said but here in the secret method of traffic the click magnet that is asking people or uh, through different social media sites to click on your url by searching some relative term in google search 
is a very good method you can ask all your followers in your twitter or google uh, google plus or for facebook account to search on this term and click on our url although i won't suggest this to be a uh, only method for opt today we'll check with the online service that you can create to understand how your products are doing how your service is working and how your service representatives are working on your customers so while working with the different online service first we'll start with google forms when we open the google drive we need to click in the new section where you will get the google forms here you can create a blank form or you can get it from a ready template let's get it from a ready template as there are a lot of template available we'll be uh, able to choose one from them for your own requirement personal requirement like contact information time meeting party invite t-shirt and up event registration like event feedback order form job application time of request work quiz customer feedback course evaluation almost all type of survey templates or forms are given over here we choose one from them let's choose the course evaluation here you can see a lot of parameters that are given for to add any more course and you can click on it you can add anything over here so you can keep a multiple choice answer or uh, you know paragraph answer anything you can like all the other one a given multiple choice let's keep it paragraph you can keep it as a required field if you make it a required field then the respondent has to fill up the field other than that the form will not submit then you can add a section add an image add text if you're adding a section like here you can go to the next section create sections as well so i remove the section so once it is done you can see the all save changes saved in drive just click on send and you'll get a url this is the url so here is your course evaluation form is ready now what are the options we have we can go for survey monkey as well survey monkey is also a good platform let's log in it with google account let's create a survey let's name it suppose we released product in new year and for that uh, we are collecting the review we can choose from one of them what type of survey is it some marketing research market research if my questions are already written i can directly upload i'll create it or i can get it from a template market research all the platforms will provide you some ready made questions and answers i can give a title to it now the page has a title it has a lot of question here with it and a likely recommendation also if you want to uh, you know add more questions and you can change or alter these questions see this is how you can like change the question for your own requirement now let's move to the next step of creating a survey we can directly you know invite others to comment on it by email address so we won't be doing that what we need we need a url so we can mail it to others or send it by other mediums agar uh, a web link uh like i would like to have this one or i can like share it on social media share it on messenger let's copy the url see you can see the name the product review for the new year's product now one after one the questions and answer coming so we can start answering so the survey is done so here is one survey like i have already uh, created somebody opened it 
one response is received we can analyze the result so this is how we can see for every question's answer as you can see every question what type of answer or what type of reply is received so here is your uh, survey creation part so once you complete the survey you can use mailchimp or any other your subscription based mailing system to send the mailers to your subscribers or you can even message it across social media platforms you can even run uh, advertisement campaigns to send these service to many new people to understand about your product thank you this lesson is google adwords we will see how you can plan your advertisement in google search the partner search engines and other partner sites of google using google adwords google adwords is very easy to use and following the steps that i'll give you you can easily plan your advertisement there is also a google help and support center always available with toll free number for different countries you can reach out to them for further assistance we will help you in planning your advertisement setting up your advertisement and creating an ad that brings more result for your company. Company. The ads that you plan for your Google advertisement are generally focused on your product, service or website. Even contents can also be taken for advertisement using Google's other partnering sites. Display text, video, these type of different medium are used to take your advertisement to the customers. Even AdWords help you in planning your advertisement for YouTube as well. In YouTube, whatever advertisement you see are all planned through AdWords. Now let's start with the lesson. First, we'll see keyword research. Keyword research is the very basic and most important component for any advertisement. It helps you get a wider idea, a wider thought and more number of keywords to plan your advertisement in a better way. You can phase your keyword research based on long tail, generic keyword, local search, city specific search or national search. Also you can take a lead by following your competitors keyword and advertisement or ad text that you can get by using few premium tools but currently we will see the same in only google adwords keyword planner competitors keyword and the ad text or ad they are giving for doing that you can use different paid tools like hrfs or spyfu they provide you with a way to see your competitors keyword ad text and the cities or the places they are targeting if you are using display advertisement that you can use through your google partner sites or even for youtube ads display ads always need to show the best of your product so people get attracted to your website and buy your product more often if there is no such best product available with your company you can give the look of a best product to any of your product so they look attractive for the buyers when starting google adwords every time for every account you get a free ad credit from google this is a one-time free ad credit that you get and the cost or the price may differ from country to country it is available while only starting your account and the account manager from google generally adds or allocate the same with your account or even you may get a voucher code to be applied inside your adwords account one single group should not carry more than 10 keywords but there is no limitation that you can keep 10 keywords you can keep n number of keywords in a group but generally when you look for advertisement the products the services or the offer that you sell they need to go to the different buyers with a different ad text different ad presentation keeping that in mind you should keep less number of keywords in a single group and create multiple group with multiple keyword set targeting different segment of people different segment of geographical area or other criteria to get more productive adwords campaign you can also follow keyword effectiveness index these keyword effectiveness index is not generally available with the adwords keyword research tool for this you can use many other keyword research tool where it is available it also helps you in understanding which keywords are getting more result if you are countering a lot of fake click problem then local advertisement using the local map is very helpful in maps it is little bit difficult to create the fake clicks so using that you can get more leads that is based on local map and avoid the problem of fake click that you are facing in your normal adwords campaign 
businesses with many offices across many cities can also use the local advertisement that is based on Google Maps. It helps them to get the local share of the customer and attract many people towards your business who are not till now coming to your business. As you can see the map based result and the people who search in the map or get the map result for their requirement is a little bit different. So plan for the keyword or let Google plan for your keyword in a way that is not applicable for normal search campaign. When you are planning any ad focusing the mobile devices the call only ad where the mobile number comes in the screen and help the mobile users just click on it and give a call to the business is very helpful. These type of call only ads are not applicable for desktop, they are generally applicable for mobile devices. But you can use the ad extension to keep a number in your desktop based advertisement. Mobile ads are getting more and more attraction these days because mobile based users are increasing. Currently more than 60% users who use Google are from mobile devices. So planning for mobile devices will give you more result and better conversion. Do try the call only ad and plan for them properly with creating different group for mobile devices. It's not like for a general group you can create a mobile based call only ad. Create separate group, separate ad text, focus the device that you are targeting and then set the ad. Ad script, keyword, landing page, the product, device and PC all becomes a factor while planning the advertisement and planning for the keywords. Keep them separate with different groups and create different landing pages for different advertisements. You will also need to watch for your quality score while working with these factors. Also focus on your budget and long term advertisement because that also boosts your quality score. A-B testing it is a vital part of any advertisement campaign for any platform and for Google also it applies. If you don't have an A-B testing plan, keeping different group, different keyword, different ad page, different landing page and the different product segment and keep changing among them with a variation ratio, you will not be able to get the proper or targeted crowd to buy your product. You will not be able to get the buyers as you want for your products. Now when you plan for your advertisement, almost 98% people leave the advertisement and only 2% people buy your product or take your service. So this means 98% people who have visited your page or advertisement have connected with your company, business or product. Now to get these people or target only these people you need a remarketing campaign set a remarketing campaign so these left out people can be again targeted and more amount of conversion can be achieved from these advertisements in the analytics account as you see we have to go to the tracking info and from there activate the remarketing if it's not active currently or turn it on now once you turn it on there will be a requirement of keeping a privacy policy that you are tracking the traffic for remarketing in your website. You can generate a privacy policy from this website. It is quite simple as you can see there are a lot of steps given and accordingly you can provide the details and the website will generate a general privacy policy. Provide the country, website name, the location, the place, the URL this is just a name here you can select whichever you want according to your requirement what which data you are capturing if you are sending email so you can select this one the unsubscribe option if you are using any mailchimp or bear kind of mailer you can select the unsubscribe or you can select the contact directly by email if you are tracking location information then you can select it or just leave it so here you can see what are the analytics platform you are using Google Analytics as you are currently preparing. Here you will have to provide the email address using which users can contact you. You can either take a professional privacy policy or a free privacy policy. Free one will be the standard 
text just replacing your data and professional one will have a copy free privacy policy custom made with some payment now you can copy it and place it in your website as a page and highlight the same somewhere inside your website like this once you have done this creating the audience becomes the next step connect the account first now once it is done let's go to the adwords account and create a campaign for remarketing here you will see different options where the tracking information from your website or other data source would be available the name of the campaign this is the average daily budget that that would you would like to spend if you keep a accelerated mode of delivery then your budget will run out faster uh, so i suggest keep it standard you can always do uh, ab testing which one is getting more result and what is your budget is also very important now here click on the edit target audiences here you can get the targeted audience that you want to capture this would be the by the interest or habit or what people are searching currently or people who have interacted with us or with your business we have selected the last one we want to target those people who want to connect who have connected with us if you have any adwords list that you can connect over here this is the preference of people the category of people that you want to target whatever suits you the best you can select now come to the cost per click here i would like to keep the no automated targeting as we have selected some manual settings so keep the manual one now cost per click should be the one that is an average cost that all your keywords are providing this is the website id now create the ad you can create a text ad or a display ad your campaign which is focusing with different cities and the country as a whole should be kept separate how you can keep them separate you can create different ad text different ad group and create a different keyword list in those groups and name them with the cities and the country as a whole even for country you can create different groups with different product in this way your advertisement will bring best revenue because they are focusing the niche segment and getting people attracted becomes easy when you focus the niche segment now it is not possible that people will look at your advertisement at any time of the day so for this you need to schedule the advertisement scheduling the advertisement is quite possible in the adwords account you can set the time duration of the day when you want your ad to reflect in search or other partner site or partner search engines in that way you not only get more targeted people towards your advertisement but also you help your business increase revenue by getting the best people to buy your product now broad match phrase match and exact match are the three categories of keyword that you will see while planning the keywords for these three these are the different ways you can do the search to get the best keyword search result long tail and short tail or generic terms the long tail terms are generally terms which is like bread and butter company in kolkata a bread and butter company of delhi the generic term would be bread and butter companies food stores would only be food stores shoe store these are the generic term where extra amount of keyword is not added to the basic term when you add something to the basic term like food store of kolkata food store of delhi food store of new york it becomes a long tail keyword so with these type of keywords you can target different group of people to so keep long tail and short tail keywords separate ad extensions there are a lot of ad extension that you can use to get more productive result from your advertisement these are the ad extensions see how you can use the ad extensions to add phone number or other data in your advertisement now while planning for the advertisement you should have a budget in mind keep your advertisement campaign for a longer duration then only you will get result so the budgeting should be on a long term basis and short term budgeting should be avoided partner sites are the places where you can do the banner advertisement and these help you build your brand and get the product highlighted to the user directly dynamic advertisement they help get your 
pages from website automatically in the ad campaigns and fetch the product automatically to help you reduce on the time you're spending on AdWords campaign and get the product to the people who actually need it. Dynamic ad campaigns are very helpful for e-commerce website. Let's plan the ad. First, we'll go to the keyword planner. Here we will type the keywords. These are all generic terms. If you are planning an ad based on the generic terms, then you can go for the keywords that you see. You can see Google have found 1575 keywords, but I have already spoken that you cannot keep all those keywords in a single group. So maximum number of keywords you should keep in a single group is 10. So let's select 10 and create an ad. And in the same way, you can gradually create all the ads, finding your focus keyword of generic or long tail keywords. Now here you can see broad match, phrase match, exact match. I provide you the key terms that you can use while finding for the broad or exact match now let's have a group name so now we have a group if you want to remove any negative keyword so you can do that by searching the keywords again and placing them in the negative keyword segment currently we are not doing it but you can definitely do it and you must do it to avoid any wrong charging so the group is created so add to plan these are now added to plan let's see the plan overview so this is the probable situation what might happen what kind of costing that can come so if you are targeting the focus can be anything so once you have the budget ready move to the ad group so this is the ad group where we have added all the keywords now let's create the campaign put a campaign name keep more number of groups under a single camp there is no problem in that this is the recommended budget for this type of a planning or you can put any you know daily custom budget like suppose 1500 or maybe 5000 rupees so the campaign is now ready let's go back to the campaign this is the campaign there is a group under the campaign and these are the keywords with the average cpc of 46 rupees so you can manually now change the cpc rate here you can see the top of the page bid rate is 39 rupees but it is coming 46 you can you know now reduce it to 39 in that way you can check the florist is coming 52 for florist you can keep it for flower bouquet it is 29 rupees see how much less it is and remember this is the top of page with low range and the high range and even for this also you can come on the lower this is the top of range this is the lower now once we are done with the campaign formation what we need we need a ad to start with let's go to the add an extension we have already spoken about the extensions which can be these you can add a site link, call out extension, message where you can interact, location, price and all this thing. Considering you know what type of extension you want to add, let's create an ad, text ad. Here you can track the ad we are not talking about the tracking part here so we have created an ad that you can see over here and let's now save it so the ad is saved so once the ad gets verified it will come over here here the ad comes under review once it gets reviewed let's keep it in a paused condition on a generic targeted keyword group now you can follow the same technique to prepare the ad for other keywords and other groups